Bobby Menker. Uh, we're here to talk about Kirkhart sliders. Uh, I've been very lucky. I've, used, or I've shot a lot of rainers over the years. I've got to work around some very good horses uh, and kind of had a system worked out with the trainers that I dealt with on how we would uh, start our young horses all the way up to our older horses. We would always start our young horses out with a quarter by three quarter. It allows them to learn how to control their hind end and stop without scaring themselves. We always felt that if we put too large of a plate on them, it would scare them and then they wouldn't go to stop. Once you lose the one's confidence, they don't seem to stop as well. It takes a long time to get it back. So we would start them in a quarter by three quarter, let them wear it out and gain their confidence that way. We also use this on cutters. We also have seen it used on the, the working cow horses. Uh, back in the olden days, they used to use a lot of quarter by three quarter, even on the older rainers. It's also used in the uh, rope, horse, uh, rope horses, especially in the calf horses, and on the, the heel horses, anything that needs to have some slide to it. We're also, the, the ranch performance horse uses this a lot. Once again, they're asked to slide some, so they're able to still run and do circles and everything, and uh, gain a little bit of traction without losing their hind end. So then the next progression up on our rainers or on, our, on the plates would be the quarter by seven eighths. Once again, it's a nice shoe. It's not too wide. Uh, on the young horses, it's next step up as we're building their foot up, as we're also building their confidence up in their stops. It's also very nice on some older horses that, have to, uh, that when the ground is too slick, sometimes too much shoe uh, scares them. They don't stop near as good. But it's also a very nice shoe for, once again, the working cow horses and the, the ranch performance horses, especially in the rope horse division on the calf horses and the heel horses. It really allows them to use the hind end, have a little bit of uh, material to slide on, but also have a little bit where they, are, it's not so wide where they're spinning out when they start out of the box and stuff. Nice shape. Uh, where the, the quarter by three quarter is a standard shape, this is a definite hind foot pattern. Falls into place, doesn't take much, much uh, modifications to it, but you got enough material here that you can do things to it. So the next ones would be, would go to the inch plates. Kirkhart makes two kinds. They're both uh, the prides, but uh, this is the, the original pride. It has a nice pattern. A little bit of a taper to heel. This is a six nail pattern. And then the, the next one will be the fine. But with the, with the, the inch plate, it's the next progression up on our colts. Uh, when I start my colts out, first time I put them into place, I don't do any rolled toes. I also don't do any, I leave the nail head stick up a little bit and I let them wear it out. Because it seems like if they jump up on these wider plates, they will scare themselves very much if the ground is real good. So then you want to gain their confidence. And then as they develop more and more in their stops, then we start doing more modifications. Roll the toes more. We always, after the initial, they get used to it, then we start rasping all the nail heads off. And we can do other things to it. So then we have the fine which is a eight nail pattern. As you can tell, it's a little bit finer, uh, finer punching on the nails. It also is a more equal weight shoe. There's not as much taper to the heel. Once again, it's just a very nice shoe, holds up well, easy shape, falls on the foot pretty, or uh, falls on the foot well with very little modifications to it. But you got enough material here, you can do anything you want to it, pull clips on them, Thin the heels if you need to, rocker the toe, roll the toe, anything that you need to do. So then the next progression up, as our, uh, as our rainers get older, and it used to be that we only put, we go to the inch and a quarter. And it used to be kind of a th uh, thought that the inch and a quarter was for non-pro riders, riders that uh, couldn't get their horses stopped as well. But nowadays we're seeing them used on everything anymore. Uh, even in the, the three-year-olds all the way up to the older horses. Uh, it's such a competitive market in the reining industry. They're trying to get as much stop as they can. It's just a wider ski for them. Once again, it's a nice pattern. Tapers very well to the heel where you have clean out. It fits the, fits the back, back part of the foot well and has a nice clean out in the frog area. It also comes already with a little bit of a rocker toe to it. 
but you have enough material there that you can do all the modifications to it that you want. You can do or you can do a, more of a rocker toe, or you can draw it out and make more of a rolled toe. And then also then you can do the heels clean or tapered enough that they clean out real well, fit around the frog. It takes very little modifications to it. They're punched. All the nails, all these are punched for a nice uh, oh five race, four and a half race. Uh, Vector 5 Special uh, or the, Car the Carrera nails fit in there very well. Here, stop.